Singh, and uh, today is uh, November 29th. After a long gap, uh, at least for one year plus since the last year of uh, you know COVID, a uh, lot of spouse visa applications which were pending and frozen in time uh, ha are, are receiving some attention from the immigration. Uh, I've got at least four uh, inquiries and clients who have got a recent interview request on their pending cases, and they are getting a letter like what I'm showing on the screen. They are being called for interview to assess their eligibility under the genuineness of the relation to spouse uh, heading. So they want to find out whether your uh, relationship is genuine according to them or not. Uh, one of the problem in this interview is that you do not know what is being asked of you. Uh, if you, just like you go to a university examination and you know typically what chapters will be uh, covered or what are the important questions, in this spouse visa interview, uh, you, you typically are going blind. I mean, you really do not know to what depth the questions will be asked. Uh, I would strongly urge you that you should contact your lawyer or consultant, whoever helped you prepare this application, to do a interview practice and like a question and answer mock interview coaching session. You need to be prepared a uh, to know what are the potential questions that will be asked about you. Uh, number two, you need to also rehearse and and finalize your your answers uh, so that you are not surprised uh, at the, at that end moment. Uh, the the section 40 which is mentioned in this letter is worrisome because if they do not find your relationship genuine according to them which is regulation 4 then they will not only refuse you but also uh, you know charge you likely charge you for five year ban which is disastrous for you and also for your spouse uh, who is in Canada so prepare well uh, do some coaching do some rehearsal and practice and then uh, go to the uh, interview if you are facing your own interview and if you have no idea, no clue on what to do, uh, you are you're welcome to send me a line. Uh, we've had some success in the past and many of our, our previous students who were coached for the interview, now they are in Canada. So I'll uh, drop my email address. Uh, if, you are, if you want to, then you, know, you should uh, schedule a consultation and we can discuss what factors might uh, impact your application. Uh, take care and uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.